Um, my idea involves, well, this was my first idea. It didn't really work. An idea of putting a balloon there, a band there, and then that coils. And then the water doesn't compress, so the coil would um, shrink the balloon, and the whole thing would sink. But then um, I had the idea this could be the tank, and then I could use this as my submarine. And so I did some stuff on here. So that's supposed to be the bottle, and it's filled with water. And um, that's this thing right here. It will be right next to it, and there'll be a band around this. So then it will coil up the band, and it will uh, it will co it can't compress the water, so it will compress this little air pocket. So then the, the submarine will sink, and then you can take away the pressure and it will rise back up. There's, we filled this halfway, the submarine thing halfway up with water. So um, when you squeeze it, it just gets rid of the air in there. So that part I'm going to try to fix. Does it not so, sink when you squeeze it? Yeah, it doesn't sink. My theory was that this may just not be heavy enough, so I'm going to duct tape some rocks onto it. Still floating when you squish it. Attach some screws to it, and now it just sinks. So I'm just going to try to take off a... Maybe I'll keep one screw on or something. I added one screw, and it still sinks, so I'm just going to get a smaller screw. So I added a two-inch screw, and... Um, I think we just need to fill the water up all the way and then I can see if it will hopefully sink a little bit more. So we filled it up with water and now when you squeeze it, it sinks. If we tip it, then it's going to pop the balloon. So we just tried this out with alligator clips. So when you put the switch this way, it turns that way. And then when you turn the switch the other way, turns the other way. So now I just need to solder this. So you're having fun soldering so many wires over and over and over again? <laughs> it can get a little boring at some points. Okay, finally I've got all the soldering done. So as you can see, it works. It just stopped the machine. I am a bit sad that this thing didn't work, but luckily I can squeeze it myself. So see, it can float. You squeeze it, it falls. Uh, squeeze it just right and it can stay in the middle. I'm not giving up that easily. So I filled the eyedropper a little bit more with water so hopefully it will sink easy. And now I just flip it. And yay! It can sink and then you can turn it the other way. Go back up. I can't really make it tilt unless I like turn the bottle. <laughs> See that sort of works I guess. <laughs> 
It took a long time, but luckily it works now.